what made me want to come here and sign, sign with the Mets first and foremost was, uh, you know, watching from afar the group of guys that, that they have and, and the resiliency that they showed, you know. Last year they had a great year, you know, looking at Pete Alonso, DeGrom, one another Cy Young. There's a, there's a great foundation and a core of, of really talented players here. And um, they were right there at the end, you know, right on the cusp of getting into the playoffs. And once you get your foot in the door in the postseason, anything can happen. And um, I've been fortunate enough to experience some postseason baseball, you know, over <clears throat> prior years of my career, and, and there's nothing like it. And that's one of the most important things to me is win. And, and this is uh, what I saw in, in my opportunities is one of the best opportunities to do that. Outside of, of winning and, and being with, with these guys in this talented group, um, I grew up a Mets fan. I, I, I live uh, an hour away, still live an hour away in New Jersey. I train there, my entire family's there. So to be able to, to come home and, and be a part of this organization is something that I've dreamed about my entire life. And, and now that dream is true. And um, I couldn't be more grateful for it. I honestly can't put it into words. You know, I, I think it's surreal for me. I remember 2000, that, that whole playoff run, and, and some of those games were on a little too late for me to watch, so I'd be like jumping out of bed at, at 5 a.m., trying to, you know, knocking on my parents' door, seeing what the score was, if they won or lost, and just, um, you know, it was my life as a kid. I, I've always been a huge sports fan, and, and following the Mets was, you know, front and center for me, so now, to be a part of it again, it, it's really hard to explain, but um, it, it's a great feeling. So my favorite, I got two guys. My first one is Piazza. I mean, he's you know a legend, and, and I got to actually see him hit a home run in a game at Shea Stadium, and that was like the coolest thing ever for me. I think I was 12, 11, 12 years old. And then uh, Al Leiter, actually, he's a, a Jersey guy. I watched him compete for the Mets and um, loved his fire and tenacity on the mound. And those were probably my two heroes. I think. Um, no disrespect to him, I'd say honorable mention John Franco. Um, again, he's a New York guy, and just you knew when he came in the game that uh, he was going to get it done, and just loved watching him compete. And so those are those are my three, I'd say. <laughs> Growing up in New Jersey, I did. I played other sports. I played football, basketball, baseball. I grew up a Knicks fan. Football, I was a Jets fan, and then a Mets fan, and, and I followed them pretty religiously, to be honest with you. Again, you know, I, I didn't. Uh, my family didn't really like go down to the shore in the summertime or things like that. I was always playing sports, watching sports, and um, being a, a Jersey kid in, in the New York area, those were those were my teams, and I loved them. I'm extremely excited to, to pitch alongside of these guys. Uh, I'm sure that there's a lot I can learn from them. Hopefully, with some of my experiences, you know, we can kind of feed off each other and, and get better. You know, you look at Degrom, Noah, uh, Marcus, and, and that. You know, you got those front three guys, and then myself and Michael and Steven. Um, you know, the sky's the limit for us. We've got a lot of talent, a lot of guys that, from what I've seen on the outside looking in, that want to work hard, that want the ball, and, and that's that's what it's all about, especially as a starting pitcher. you want you got to want to be out there every fifth day, and like I said, from what I've seen from these guys, that's what they want to do, and I'm, uh, I'm honored to be a part of it. Yeah, so I, I know uh, Carlos from competing against him, and, and I definitely know him pretty well. He deposited an inside fastball. I threw him about 450 feet to right field one year, and uh, it, he's a fantastic competitor. Um, you know how smart of, of a hitter he is just by how he takes pitches and his game plan and his plate coverage and all those sort of things. So he's honestly one of the smarter, if not the smartest hitter I've ever faced. And now to have the opportunity to play for him and develop a relationship with him and, and see him in a, in a different aspect, I'm really excited about it. So. Looking forward to playing for Carlos and uh, most importantly looking forward to going out there and winning ball games for him. Yeah, I think the sky's the limit. You know, you look at the core group of guys, young guys, guys that are hungry, that want to win. <clears throat> you look at the season that they had last year, I mean, came up a couple games short of, of the ultimate World Series winner. So that's, that's a great place to start. You know, I'm hoping that we can kind of carry that over into this year and, and, and keep building off of that. And that's some of the teams that I've been on in the past, that's how it's gone. You know, you, you kind of take little steps and then before you know it, you're ready to, to make that run, and hopefully we can make that happen sooner rather than later. Away from the game, I, I my, one of my biggest passions is fly fishing. It's kind of weird. I grew up in New Jersey, and, and there's a couple little like trout streams out by my house, and I guess <clears throat> I spent a lot of time in, in cities and, and around a lot of people in you know urban areas, and then I also spent some time in rural areas and uh, developed this, this love and passion for fly fishing. It's kind of that, that that moment that gets me away from everything else, and you kind of stand in the woods and that sort of stuff. And then uh, my other passion is golf, and I love playing golf. Uh, spring training is always a good time for that, and it's, it's a great time to, 
to bond with your teammates. You know, it's usually pitchers and position players can get together. And outside of, uh, you know, when you're at camp, you don't see position players. You don't see your shortstops and your outfielders and that sort of stuff. So getting on the golf course in spring training and, and being with all those guys is uh, always an opportunity I look forward to. Personal and professional, what I'd like Mets fans to know about me is I, I never, never give up. You know, I, I never stop fighting. Uh, I never stop working towards our ultimate goal. And the most important thing to me is winning. And um, I'm going to do everything I can in my power to make that happen here at the Mets.